tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. An ecosystem is any place where living things live continuously, interacting with other living and non-living components. The living components of an ecosystem are called the biotic factors, while the non-living components are called abiotic factors. The part of the ecosystem where the living things live is called the habitat. The interaction of the biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem brings about the continuous cycle of materials and energy in the ecosystem. An ecosystem can be natural or artificial. Ecosystems which are the gifts of nature are called natural ecosystems. Examples are deserts, forests, oceans, grasslands, and many more. Ecosystems which are engineered by man are called man-made or artificial ecosystems. Examples are gardens, man-made lakes, agricultural fields, and many more. Tropical Rainforest Tropical rainforests are woodlands composed mostly of all tall trees and extensive foliage cover. They are regions with year-round warmth and abundant rainfall and occupy 6-7% to of Earth's surface. They produce a large percentage of the needed oxygen on Earth. Rainforests are also estimated to house more than half of the world's plant and animal species. Most of them is still undiscovered. Rainforests grow in four major layers. These are number one, the canopy or the top layers. Number two, the subcanopy, which is a layer of trees below the canopy. Number three, the understory, which is the shady lower. And number four, the floor forest. More than 70% of the organism in the forest live in the canopy and subcanopy. The shady understory mostly has small palms, young trees, and non-woody plants. The floor of the forest has a thin layer of fallen leaves and branches as well as are scattered seeds and fruits that some animals gather and eat. Several varieties of fishes, amphibians, Reptiles, birds, and mammals abound in the rainforest and its rivers. However, insects are the most populous among the animals and sometimes with about 40 kinds of ants in just one tree or 1,200 kinds of beetles in just 19 individual in tree crowns. A study has shown that there are possibly over 30 million insects dwelling in the canopies of tropical rainforests. Because of the great diversity of life in them, rainforests are ranked as the most complex on land. In the Philippines, used to have about 70% of its rainforests a hundred years ago. Presently, only less than 8% of the country rainforests are untouched by deforestation and urbanization. If deforestation does not stop, there might be no more rainforests in the Philippines after 15 years. Coral Reefs Coral reefs are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on Earth and are called the rainforests of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. 
coral reefs are made up of limestones which are secreted by corals and deposited in a period of thousands to millions of years. They can be of three types, the fringing reefs, barrier reefs, and atolls. Fringing reefs are underwater stands of living coral animals that grow fairly close to the shore. Barrier reefs occur farther offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channels called lagoons. Atolls are roughly circular reef systems that surround a deep or large lagoon. Coral reefs are formed when coral polyps form their limestone skeleton by absorbing calcium from seawater. Reefs are not only made of hard and soft coral, but also sponges, crustaceans, jellyfishes, sea animals, mollusks, sea turtles, reef sharks, dolphins, various fishes, and much more. They provide homes for marine animals, which makes marine food chains active and continuous. Because of its great diversity, competition may arise among the organisms in the coral reefs as they compete over food and space. Since they are dependent and interrelated to each other, variation in one species can severely affect other species. Other than that, calamities like storms, volcanic eruptions, and hurricanes, as well as human activities, may greatly affect the type of organisms and their relationships within the reefs. Mangrove swamps. Mangroves are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and rivers. Mangroves can tolerate salty water because the roots can filter out the salts before absorbing water into the plant. They also have the ability to store salts in their bark or old leaves and shed them periodically to get rid of the salts. Mangrove roots form breeding grounds or nurseries for many fishes and marine organisms. They intertwine roots, protect the larvae and young animals from predators, and act as a home rich communities of marine invertebrates and algae. They also provide shelter to seasonal visitors like egrets and migratory birds. These birds also receive nourishment by eating shrimps, crabs, and other mollusks around the mangroves. Mangroves also stabilize the shoreline. They have stilt-like roots that catch particles of silt, dirt, and sand that build up shorelines. They also remove large quantities of inorganic nutrients and sediments to maintain quality of coastal waters.